Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at ellipses and their foci and how to graph them in Cartesian coordinates. First, start with the unit circle. As the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to one. Think of an X box and a Y box. We're going to replace what's in this box and what's in that box. Just like over here, so this is the Y axis, this is the X axis, and we're going to replace, let's replace at this X and Y just like we're replacing this X and Y. So, doing so, let's suppose that we replace it all with, let's see, let's replace x with x over two. So this is now the x over two axis. Let's replace y with y over four. So this is now the y over four axis. We're done. This is the graph of this. This point, which is a one, since this is a, comes from a unit circle here, doesn't represent an x value, it re represents an x over two value. This one here doesn't represent a y value, it represents a y over four value. So really, what is y right here? Well, if we solve the equation y over four equals one, we'd see y should be four right there. Right over here, similarly, if x over two is equal to one, then x would be two. So this really is a, an x equals two. If we were to draw a draw the same graph on corrected axes with, a, with an x and a y, we would see our ellipse would be going over two and be going up four. And so we would have a picture like this. Well, something like that. Okay, so we have an ellipse and it goes up four and over two right there in the x. Okay. Similarly, what if we had something like this? X minus one over two, all quantity squared, plus Y plus two over four quantity squared is equal to one. Okay. Now we could do a similar thing. So instead of these being x over two and y over four axes, they could be an x minus one over two axis. And up here, a y plus two over four axis. All right, let's look at the center, zero, zero. So this zero, zero does not mean x and y are zero. It means x minus one over two is zero and y plus two over four is zero. Hey, what makes x minus one over two zero? X is one would make that zero. So the center, the point would have an X coordinate of one because that makes this zero. What makes this zero? Y is negative two would make that zero. So everything should be the same with the stretches, but the center has shifted. Um, so our, our, our final ellipse graph, this would not be the X and the Y axis. Rather, um, this, we could replace these. With Y is negative two, and this is when X is one. And, and there's our graph. That's the graph of our ellipse. Okay, now what about foci? <clears throat> All right, so we have, here's our ellipse, and we can think of it as being situated in a box. Okay, it has a center here. We're going over two, and the other way too, we're going up four and down four, and it's situated in here. 
Okay. And remember that the center was at, um, the center was at one comma negative two. Okay. Now to find the foci, we use the idea that an equivalent way of thinking about an ellipse is if we take two foci or two points and we attach a string to them and pull it taut or tight and move that string around, it traces out the shape of the ellipse. Now, let's suppose that we did this in a way so that our string was pulled over here, over to this vertex over here, this far end. And you notice this last bit of string as we wrap down around this way. What if we were to cut it out and move it over here and just loosely put it over here? Notice that the whole length of the string is actually the length, the longer length of the ellipse. And the foci are located on that longer length. Okay, now, let's consider what would happen if we were to take the string and pull it taut tight right in the middle right there in between so this length is the same as this length now this length is going to be the exact same as one half of the longer length so to the center just that distance which in our case over here is four now um so four is not only this length, but it's also this length. So to find the focus, let's see what we do. We take this four, we kind of lift it up and pull it so it's from this point over to here to wherever it is. So this four is now going to correspond We've to this right here, this hypotenuse. This is two. And then this distance right here, that's gonna tell us where the focus is located. We can use the Pythagorean theorem. Let's call this C for right now. And let's compute it. C squared plus two squared is equal to four squared. So we get 16, subtract four, is equal to C squared. So C is equal to the square root of 12, uh, which is the same as two root three. So we know in particular that our focus will be located two root three above the center and below the center for our two foci. So we have um, one comma negative two plus or minus two root three, and those are the two foci. Thanks for watching.